Do you blink your eyelashes fluttering? Okay. You don't know where you are, or even who you are, and the room is dark. No matter how you strain your eyes, you cannot make out any details. It's cold and quiet here, save for the panicked sounds of your own breathing. <sighs> That's the Sorry. best. You know, I, I can do more better panicked breathing when, like, I can breathe better. <laughs> yeah, that generally helps. <laughs>also like I was like realizing that this there's the mic that you're hearing me from and the mic that I'm recording with uh, mm -hmm. and not knowing which one to like breathe heavily into <laughs> I kind of went with neither and just kind of breathed into my hand and like it's like this isn't gonna this is my hands don't record oh man <laughs> I don't. Hey, you, you know, this is a good panic breathing moment to remind, remember that I haven't done an introduction yet. <laughs> exactly. I was wondering about that. I'm just like, Shh, where are I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Advocado, and this will probably be the first time you all see them because of how long it'll take to do the previously recorded thing. Uh, first record uh, you guys are seeing with a member of Cacophony of Games. That's you. I'll let you... Hi. I'm Life Away. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, we're, we're a mess. <laughs> uh, and by we, I mean me mostly. But I like to delegate blame. <laughs> I am happy to take the blame. I am a complete mess all the time, 100% of the time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What did I see on, on Twitter today? It's like talking about the the Bachelorettes, like the, the Bachelorette oh God. people or whatever on Bachelorette. It's like, what what's the deal with all these like Pier 1 apartments that these bachelorettes have. They're all like with and everything. Where's my messy Ikea girls? <laughs> messy Ikea girls. That's a new one on me. Oh dang. But really though, even though like Ikea has all this furniture for fucking organizing things. Like Ikea has so much stuff to organize things, and I don't know a single person who owns Ikea furniture that is actually organized. You know, there's a reality to that. There's a lot of Ikea furniture in the house that I am in, thanks to my wife uh, being mm -hmm. a big fan. And I like them too, but, you know, fuck if we're organized. <laughs> I know, right? But, but that's, it's like the <laughs> sick needing a doctor type of thing. Like, nobody... Nobody who's got their life together and their shit together is going to be like, man, I need organization supplies. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, that, that is very true. It's nobody who actually has their whole life together really needs to be like, you know what I could use? A nine-piece cubby hole thing to organize my crap in. Yeah. Like, I need that. They're just like, I already have that. They either already have it's that, shelf. or they like, they're so with it, they don't have excess shit, they don't have to worry about it. Like, exactly. they got it together, they don't collect things, or like, dust. Who collects things nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I say, as I, as I look over my steam library of 200 and something games who collects things well i mean like, really <laughs> when we talk about collect things like we're not talking like how maggie collects dolls and like has organized like <laughs> shelves of of dolls 
and they're like mm-hmm. all taken care of and everything. No, we're talking about like, man, I really like this sort of thing. I'm going to keep buying this sort of thing. Then I have a bunch <laughs> of them somewhere. They don't have any intrinsic value or use, and I don't really keep them organized, but I mean, hey. Yeah, they're all they great, though. It's <laughs> it's all great. I love every single one of them. Does, does it bring me such joy when I stumble upon them? Uh, <laughs> I need to stop throwing shade at myself and get on with this Let's Play. Start throwing shade at me? No. <laughs> no, I I, th- I feel like the shade is falling on both of us. Uh, Just a little bit. By the way, this is Once on a Windswept Night, and we kind of dove right into it, because that's the way the game starts doesn't give you like an intro screen it's just like hey you're playing here you are uh (laughs) let's play the feud we're here okay we're here we're doing this uh okay (laughs) so back from that faffing around uh (laughs) for for all you know you could be the only person alive in the whole world you probably are. The world itself. I mean, let's be real. Seems to have compressed as of late. It's small, shrunken down, no bigger than the size of a walnut. I mean, not the smallest nut, but okay. The size of a walnut. Which means that we're smaller than a walnut. We are smaller than a walnut. Holy crap. That is small. We're like you are Umbelina in... or something. Yes. Which actually makes the whole world being small as a walnut less impressive. But still... Just a little bit. Just a little. You're trapped inside, all on your own. Or are you? I'm gonna guess not, because this is gonna get real dull if this is the entire game. <laughs> Just a little. I hate to go a little meta... That would suck. You're, the entire game is you, trapped inside of a walnut, yep. in the dark, nothing to do. But can you imagine in a walnut. that troll uh, to do that? <laughs> you know... You mean the Stanley Parable. <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit. But like... <laughs> but like, they set game. up... Like, they've got images like, hey, we've made a game. Like, here's art from the game. <laughs> that, that's not in the game. It's just black with white text. Like, like, and then it turns out, like, there's nothing. The world is over. The images you saw were just bullshit. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be a pretty harsh troll. Yeah. But that would be pretty bad. See, the longer you sit there, or stand there, lie there, you cannot tell, the warmer your inert body becomes. Yeah, you're waking up, dumbass. Your fingers twitch. Ah, yes, you have fingers. You remember now. Ah, yes. (laughs) Oh, those, those fingers. They've done things. Those phalanges. Phalanges. That's a good word. I like it. It is a good word. Uh, for a short while, though it felt like much, much longer, you'd quite forgotten. <laughs> you have fingers you can use to touch, a nose you can use to smell, though it's clogged up at the moment. And ears you, know, can, right? you can use to hear. <laughs> Arms and legs, even. Can you imagine? Oh, dang. You're a full person. A head. You are a person, after all. Are we sure? I mean, are we sure? It, it might be a cat. It's fortunate that you remembered. I mean, if you'd forgotten, it's, you'd still be a person, I think. You are beginning to doubt True. the nature of your own existence, lost amidst the ether of non-being. Oh god. For all you knew, you could have been a cat, 
a dog, or an amoeba at the bottom of the ocean. This is getting a little too surreal for me. <laughs> you are not any of those things. Suck it. Because <laughs> as I was informed in a movie long ago, everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. God damn it. <laughs> but it's true. Seriously, being that a cat would be the best part. thing. Sleep 18 hours a day. You get to get fed by humans who are too dumb to figure out that you're just using them. I have a cat. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have four. Um, Jesus. And currently, we've a few times have been up to five. Um, but, uh, you have remembered that you are a living creature, a human being, uh, to be more precise, and that has given you the right to live. It is a right afforded only to a precious few billion. Unless this is a different <laughs> world. I mean, it might be. You should cherish the life you have. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, don't you dare tell me what to do. I do what I want. I do what I want. You understand that <laughs> now. If only but your surroundings I, would you become I? clear. Then you might be able to plan an escape route from the darkness. From what? Perhaps firing magic missile. Oh, yeah. At the darkness. <laughs> ha! Ha! I got that. I understood that joke. <laughs> the dead ale wives. Um, you know that you can't stay here. We haven't established where here is. Other than exactly. it's possibly the size of a walnut. Yeah. It is. Which, how do they fit a full-grown human in there? Yeah. It isn't safe. Robbed of your sight, your sense of hearing is more acute than ever before. The sound oh, of... We got that dang heartbeat. <laughs> the sound of silence weighs heavily <laughs> upon you, broken only by your own heart beating. Yes, it is beating. Sorry. Uh, as soon as it said the sound of silence, I'm like, the song? <laughs> yeah. I would make a joke playing uh, a clip of that, but, you know, I want to make money on this. You know, uh, exactly. <laughs> that organ, don't don't talk about that organ, that never, I mean, it's not usually the organ being described by that organ, but, <laughs> although that's the worst, if you've ever read anyone's yeah, that's not a good way to describe. You know what that's that, that describes describe well? The, the, the thing that looks like a <laughs> giant piano. What? You know, an organ. <laughs> oh, I just got it! <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why? Oh, that was terrible. Well, but beautiful at the same time. <laughs> I didn't know it's you wouldn't immediately beauty. get what I was going for, but that makes it all the more amusing. Listen, I've read too much fanfic, okay? <laughs> I have many times seen the words that organ describing something other than the heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the liver. Or the stomach. <laughs> You exist. Uh. You. Are we sure about that? You do. See? The narrator is assuring <laughs> us. How else will you test your existence? Run head first into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you open your mouth, forming shapes. All the vowel sounds. A. E. Ayo. I. Ayo. 
O and U. Hey, oh. No sound comes Just out. Just get some, get some, you know, moon base alpha sounds in there. Uh, why should it? <laughs> There's nobody here to talk to in the dark and desolate void. Though it would be nice if there was. Ah! All of a sudden you hear it, off in the distance. Perhaps it isn't so distant. It's a low crackling sound. Fire, perhaps? And, just above that, a dull tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. A clock, then. And the chink of china. The, the flipping of pages. We have I, the first two. There's a couple words in there that I don't feel comfortable having in the same sentence. Uh, even what? if it wasn't meant in any offense... Maybe I'm... What? It, nothing. <laughs> the scent of peppermint tea and dust? I mean, is that that offensive? <laughs> no, no, no. The previous sentence. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the scent sure. is the scent of peppermint <laughs> tea and dust. Decades upon decades of dust. The cold, empty environment has spawned life. As though from your own desperate desire for company. Does that make you the center of the universe? The folly of man. You are not alone anymore. But you still cannot see a thing. You might as well be blind. You do not know if you're relieved or not by these sounds. Dear Cozy, yes. And should be familiar, but you are not sure where you might have heard them before. Maybe from another life. Whew. I am a gunk mess tonight. <clears throat> you just made me want to yawn and then cough at the same time. God damn. Yeah, I, I have that effect on people. <laughs> uh, maybe from another life. A past life. You swallow. Your throat feels dry. But curiosity propels you forward. Onwards. It's the same difference. <laughs> you take a slow, unsteady step forwards. The floorboards. It is a wooden floor. Creak beneath your weight. I... Oh. It's just, mm -hmm. it's going. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh it's excuse, going. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Cuss me. What the? <laughs> Cuss you? <laughs> <laughs> An unfamiliar voice falls from your lips. It's a voice you have not heard before. You're, you recognize it only by the virtue of the fact. It speaks when you manipulate. Ooh. Whoa. Holy crap. <coughs> uh, that came out. <laughs> you recognize it only by the virtue of the fact it speaks when you manipulate your mouth. Your tongue pushed upon your teeth. Your voice echoes throughout the darkened room. Dozens upon dozens of excuse me's repeat circling about you like dust motes. The flipping of pages pauses. Still, the unseen fire continues to crackle. Somebody is looking at you. Bitch, how can you tell? You can't see! You can tell they are looking at you despite the thick darkness that envelops you. Wait for the narrator to explain the impossible. <laughs> Never! You shiver. Strain your eyes. Perhaps you can make out a few details here and there. The wooden floor, a rocking chair, a figure sitting upon it, a dusty old tome in their lap. A girl?
sight for sore eyes, indeed. Oh, dang. Ah! That music is loud. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do this. Oh my, it has been such a long while since I have had a visitor. Y you know, you ha you're saying the music is loud? I am, like... Oh. Barely hearing it. <laughs> I know why I'm not hearing it. It's because <laughs> the, the headphones that I have plugged in are not the ones I have on my head. Well, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? It's like, I just barely hear it. It's like, yes. It's... Okay, yeah, that's loud. There's a reason for that. Sorry, her, her makeup look reminds me a lot of Weishni. And her coloration and everything. What's this? Of what? It's still pretty. The character from Ruby. Ah, okay. She's got white hair, blue eyes, and... If I remember correctly, she does do the red eyeshadow around her eyes. Uh. She sighs softly. Is that a good thing? It must be lonely sitting in the dark for so long with nobody but books for company. How can she even read those books in the gloom? But this reality seems to operate differently from the one you came from. It's probably better not to ask these things. Otherwise the whole world might fall apart. My name is Lycoris. May I inquire as to your title? <clears throat> uh, no, wait. <laughs> it's, it's, she's asking <laughs> for my name, but it's a good question, but you don't remember it yourself. Or something like that. I was trying, I was hoping I could figure out a way to make a save. Because I know that there's oh, like, no. depending, like, there's like a couple dozen different names that she'll respond to differently. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so I wanted to like save and like try a bunch, but I can't seem to be able to save yeah. at all. Even though well. this is a standard grin pie, should be. Alright, well, I'll try the escape key. It's always a good question, but do not remember it yourself. Ah, it seems to be a, to be disabled. Your brain strains as you try to pluck the first words you can think of from the air. Well, apparently, also... Uh, characters from other visual novels and such. Mm hmm. Hmm. So. <laughs> um. So, what is our name? Hmm. 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 I could go with my favorite voice, Mochi. <laughs> you could. I'm not opposed to that. Mochi suddenly been shoved into a hellscape realm. Hooray! <laughs> I mean, but, not unlike, you know. <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to do anything, but... Sure. It may not, but let's go with it. <laughs> So are you yes. going to be putting in mochi then? Yep, put Good. in mochi. It's already done. Cool. Mochi, is it? Like chorus nods her head. You can see it shifting slightly in the gloom. Well, Mochi, do you know where you are? Sure as hell not frosting. You no, no, it certainly is not. <laughs> you have no idea, you just happen to wake up here. You poor little bunny rabbit. <laughs> That's 
That is quite natural. Most of my guests are wanderers, travelers, if you will, who find themselves here for want of anywhere else to go. I'm not overly fond of fancy names, so I suppose you could call this my library. You glance about. So it is a library after all. You did wonder. This library is filled with books from all over the world, including some which have not yet been written and some that need a helping hand. What does she mean? Sorry, hold on. <coughs> there we go. Hmm, it is difficult to explain, but stories are not born from nothing, you know. Now, seeing that you are here, and I am here, and there is little else to do, would you care to help me? You don't understand. How could you be of any help to her? There is a story in here that has been in a state of flux for quite some time. It is about a traveler, much like yourself, who... Hmm... But Lacaris pauses. She frowns. I am getting ahead of myself. I apologize. In any event, would you like to listen to this story with me? That does sound nice! <laughs> You're curious, what kind of story is it? It is very important to me. I feel it is connected to my identity somehow, yet it rejects me. It shifts like sand, and when I try to pursue it, and the words do not stay in the correct... Oh, sorry. It shifts like sand when I try to pursue it, and the words do not stay in the correct order. Such a thing may not be possible in the world you come from, but this universe can be rather unfair. The universe I come from calls it dyslexia. What is this dyslexia you speak of? <laughs> Never mind, we don't have time for that. When we want things the most, they slip between our fingers. If you were with me, however, perhaps I would finally be able to reach the real ending of this story. What is so important about you? Hmm, you do not understand. I do not know, but I feel as though we have a connection. You feel it too, don't you? This story is special to me, but I feel as though it may be special to you too. Press one hand against your chest. Your heart flutters like the wings of a butterfly. Yay! <laughs> Sapphic! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I had to point it out. Also, uh, we'll start a sapphic counter for this one in the tradition I know, right? of uh, <laughs> of Cupid, which we should be up to two by now. I think so. <laughs> she might be right. In fact, you are sure she is. I mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, why couldn't she be? Why wouldn't she be right? <laughs> Why else does your heart pound when she speaks to you? What other possible sapphic reason could there be? I mean, maybe maybe it's just a reaction to seeing a pretty person. Who knows? <laughs> we certainly don't. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you say? I say you're a crazy lady. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to say. You find yourself nodding in dumb agreement. This... This does feel like me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> what? Uh, just the... Just put a pretty girl. Nodding in dumb agreement. Uh, this woman, <laughs> whoever she is, takes your breath away. <sighs> Perfect. Now, why don't you take a seat, my esteemed guest? 
you discover to your surprise that you are sitting in an armchair. Hey, it's comfy! How the frick did that happen? <laughs> it's a very curious library indeed. It's magic or some shit. Let us begin. We shall dive into this story together. We have all the time in the world. Well, there's only and one option here. Read the story! Now, while they may have all the time in the world, this is probably a good point to stop this particular episode. So, this is uh, Ben Evil Guacamole Gaming, uh, and I'm the Devil's Avocado, joined by... Lay we, We've been playing once on a windswept night, and we will be back with more soon. Farewell. Bye-bye. Oh, okay, sorry, you skipped a thing, so I got confused. <laughs> That's okay.